The opioid epidemic is a growing crisis in Western Massachusetts and across the country. 22 News report the Shawnee Whitlow joins us live from Springfield where Mercy Behavioral Health addressed addiction tonight. More than a thousand people died from opioid overdoses in Massachusetts last year. Four people die every day in Massachusetts because of opioids. More than 200 people packed City Stage in Springfield Thursday night, where Mercy Behavioral Health Care focused on the growing concern over the opioid crisis. Opioid addiction is the number one public health concern that both the Commonwealth as well as the country faces. And so to come up with solutions, we need to pull those solutions from everyone. Former Boston Celtics player and recovering heroin addict Chris Heron told 22 News he thinks marijuana is a gateway drug. The numbers will only increase until we focus on prevention and education. Hopefully someday wellness in general becomes a core class because a healthy kid does better at everything. Massachusetts Health and Human Services Secretary Mary Lou Sutter told 22 News Interstate 91 has a lot to do with why some Western Massachusetts communities have been affected by the opioid epidemic. It seems Route 91 seems to be a bit of a gateway for drug traffickers. So the governor has been very committed in expanding access to treatment. We also need to deal with the drug interdiction side. Massachusetts has added 450 treatment beds across the state, including 64 in Greenfield and 34 at the Western Massachusetts Hospital in Westfield. Live in Springfield, Tashani Whitlow, 22 News.